Yeah, it's awesome to see this many people in the live stream tonight. By the way, we're just doing some Q&A if you just showed up. Um, the next question in the chat is, Hey Chris, what's up? My aquarium light stopped working and it just does this flickering thing. Eeh, this sucks. I gotta say, um, obviously with all these aquariums, I've done my due time with having a lot of aquarium lights stop working. And my advice to you is if the aquarium light is an LED light, the most common thing to fail is usually the power supply of the light itself. Through the years of having tons of different aquarium lights fail on me, I have wasted a ton of time taking them apart, getting on YouTube, watching tutorials on how to fix them, uh, kind of dissecting diodes, and I'm kind of a nerd when it comes to electronics, So, and I've learned that a lot of people aren't that way. You know, here's the deal of the breakdown of how I tell people if it's worth fixing or not. If it's a pretty cheap light, like maybe under a hundred US dollars, I'm not taking that thing apart. And uh, if it's more than that, I will take it apart and put my due diligence and time into trying to fix it. And I understand that maybe some of you are thinking, this is frustrating because here I came to this video to try to help me fix my aquarium light because it's not working. And you're essentially just telling me to throw it away. I totally get it that you're frustrated as well because you spent good money on this light. And maybe you like taking things apart. I totally get it. You should go about doing so if you've already decided to do that. I'm just kind of forewarning you that I've done my due time in taking things apart. Uh, if you check this channel or my main channel, Palmer Aquatics, I have tons and tons of videos of DIY LEDs. I've built so many of my own LEDs when LEDs were first like a new thing. And I got to say, with how technology has advanced with LED lights and how cheap they are, I don't mess around with any of it anymore. And I know some of you guys might be thinking, well, you have a handful of sponsors. They send you free stuff. That is true. But it is also, you know, before all of that happened... I I take I was taking the part I was taking the lights apart you know a fish store near to me shut down and they had tons of saltwater lights that all the LEDs worked but I couldn't figure out how to keep them on it was the most frustrating thing ever I had like a thousand dollars worth of lighting and I just I wasted maybe like a month of my life just deep diving into it and I I don't think it's worth it looking back on it so I'm kind of uh, ranting here a little bit but. Um, whiskey is looking cute as always. The house is doing well here. This tank right here is leaking, so this kind of sucks, but it is what it is. We haven't had a, a tank leak in the house for quite some time, and it was due. So, um, we just rescaped that 20 long. I'm really kind of liking it, or I should say the girlfriend rescaped it. I can't scape where the crap, um, and it wouldn't look this nice around here without her. So, shout out to her. Um, this tank here, we're getting ready for some electric blue cars that just went in the mail today, so I'm really excited about that. In the latest podcast episode, I mentioned that I was obsessed with electric blue cars, and someone reached out to me, a company, they're like, hey man, we'd like to send you those free because we can kind of see your passion, and uh, I don't know, it's awesome. So as you guys can see here, I use all different types of lighting here in the house. That's literally like one of those desk lamps with an A19 light bulb socket. They call them the A19s. It's literally just like the super basic ones you use in your house. And what I did was I ordered special light bulbs that are 6,000K to go in those housing units. These are just cheap brooder lights over here. But guys, really, to grow plants in the aquarium, all you really need is a six, a 5,000 to 6,000, maybe 7,000 Kelvin lighting, and it's going to do the damn thing. So it's really a lot simpler than a lot of people think. Look at this awesome flower horn. He's starting to color up. By the way, this is a Thai silk flower horn. Whiskey's always battling with them. It's hilarious. They go back and forth with fighting. But yeah, the tanks are looking pretty good around here. I just scaped and planted this tank here, kind of waiting for the plants to take off. This is a pretty sick light here too, right? But yeah, sorry I couldn't be of more help to tell you exactly what it is. But here's the thing. With electronics, I can't do that. I mean, you got capacitors, the LED diodes, uh, you got the power supply. There's a lot that goes into an aquarium light or just an LED light in itself. Um, it's honestly probably not worth it if it's a tank that's small enough, you know, like anything under four feet or anything under a hundred US dollars. Like I said before, I wouldn't uh, even invest my time into fixing. If it's an expensive light, maybe do your due diligence and fixing it. I don't know. Um, 
let me know in the comments uh, or the live chat right now what you guys think. Have you had an aquarium light stop working? Was it doing the flickering thing? I got to say, though, I've had a lot of luck with just fixing or replacing the power supply. So a lot of times that flickering kind of means like a, a wattage shortage. So hopefully this can be of some help. Um, I'll probably crop up this video a little bit and kind of throw it up as a video on my clips. Uh, that's kind of what I do with these live streams, the Q&As. Um, it kind of it really helps the hobby. All right, guys, enough blabbing. Let's move on to the next question.